Oh, hello, it's that friendly guy, the TFG, and today I'm going to show you how to use chat commands and how to cooperate in Tarkov, in our quest to make Tarkov a better place. Let's jump straight into it and let's show you guys how to be friendly in Tarkov. So we can see a player in the distance, so we're going to try and give him a wiggle at first to make him, make him know that we're friendly. And uh, you can see he's wiggling back towards us. So now we approach him. Hopefully he doesn't shoot us. And we get close. You see on the bottom left of my screen now, uh, there's a cooperate pops up. So if I now press the Y button, I'll raise my hand and he'll see my name on his screen. Hey, down for a party? I'll raise my hand and he'll see my name on his screen. Hey, down for a party? Okay, so now if he wants to come back to me and say he wants to cooperate and show me his name, he'll also press the Y button and it'll show me his name on my screen. Okay, guys, we need to all work together. Okay, guys, we need to all work together. Okay, so you now you see his name on my screen and that's the button. So once you're in the range of a player, you can see if I move to the side, there's no button. But as soon as I come in contact with this person, the Y button then pops back up and I can press the Y as many Wanna times as I like. Want to work together? So if he misses the name the first time, you can press it, but as soon as you go out of view, and you, party? you can't um, you can't press the, the Y button again. You fix it to cooperate. So now we're friends, and um, now we just now we just move on and go forward. Go, go, go! Nice. And that's how to make friends in uh, in Tarkov and find out each of his names. So another useful way to cooperate and talk to other players in the game is using the commands icons and commands in game. And now a lot of people don't know how to get to those commands, and it's quite simple. You double tap the Y button, and it brings up a massive scroll wheel of commands right here. So some useful commands, for example, are number one, um, I need a med kit. So we can see in the help section, I need a med kit. So we're going to click on that and see if the, uh, the player cooperates. So we need a med kit. Do you have any meds? That's great. So there's uh, obviously the player's now dropped the med kit because I said I needed meds. Another useful one is I need a weapon, and this is the need a weapon command down in the bottom left. I need a weapon. So now this player's dropped the weapon. That's awesome. Um, need a frag is also one down in the, the bottom bottom corner there. Blow it up! And now he's dropped a grenade for us as well, which is amazing. So the way to bind these as well, so it's double tap Y button, double tap the Y button swiftly to, uh, to get it up. If you only press it once, it will it won't come up. If you just tap once, look, it hey, won't it, down for a party. It won't, it won't come up. Double tap, it brings it up. So if you want to bind these to any of the F buttons, so if I want to bind, I need a weapon to my F1 button. You need to go to need a weapon, you need to right click on the need a weapon button. And these are all the F numbers. So I would click on that one there to put it into F1. So now when I click F1. Need a gun. I need a weapon. F1 is now, need a gun. is now that command. I need a weapon. So if I wanted to bind a different command, for example, let's say um, we've seen a scab and I want to I want to bind that to F5. We click on F5. That is now bound to F5. It shows you all the binds down in the bottom of the screen right there. Now, F5. We got a bandit. Scab over there. Scab ahead. Okay, so this is useful if you want to use certain commands. So like myself, I do use the word ceasefire a lot. So when I'm running around, it is now bound to F2. So I press F2. Hold your fire! And it is ceasefire. Hold your fire! The ceasefire command. Hold your command. fire! Ceasefire! Hold your fire! So this can be useful for also using external software, such as Corsair or Razer, to bind your F1 to 10 to your buttons on your mouse. So for example, mine is now bound to the F2 button. So when I'm moving around the map, I can press the button on Hold my mouse fire! and freely Hold walk your fire. around. Hold your fire! fire! Like this. Hold your fire! Without Hold pressing your fire! the F2 button, Hold your which fire! Uh, is really Cease helpful fire! as well. Hold your fire! So yeah, thank you to uh, thank you to Grumpy Teddy Bear, our our model for today. Let's give him a thumbs up, <laughs> and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya. Tracks.